What's going on guys, Thunderbo here, and today I'm bringing you a seed review, yes that's right, seed reviews are back, and I'm coming back full force, because this seed review is quite possibly going to be the best seed I will ever find. Yes, I found this seed on my own, and let me explain first. So, one day I went to the Microsoft store at my local mall, and I was playing around on the Windows 10 edition demo mode on one of their laptops, and this was the world that I generated. Now, I didn't realize it at the time, but this seed is quite possibly the best seed I had ever found, and when I realized that the seed was so epic, I took down the seed number, and I went home to go record it. But before I started recording it, I looked up on YouTube to see if other YouTubers had found this seed before. I don't know what compelled me to do this, but I looked it up on YouTube, and sure enough, there are a few other videos on this seed, but I plan on making this seed very, very, very well known. I found this seed completely on my own, random generation and everything, so hopefully this seed explodes in popularity because it is just so awesome. So, the seed number is right here. It's 818-010-429, just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Create World, and you guys are about to see why this seed is so awesome. So when you first join this world, you will be in, like, this little clearing area over here, and you'll be facing these trees, and right around the corner, boom, we have ourselves an NPC village. This NPC village is massive though. It's not one village, it's not two villages, but three freaking villages at one. Like literally just all right here. Three NPC villages. You can tell it's three NPC villages because each village is defined by one of these wells. So if there's three wells, then there's three villages. So we have one over here, we have one over here, and we have another one over here. So, uh, only one of the villages has a blacksmith, and that would be this one. So we're going to go inside the blacksmith, and we're going to take a look at what loot he's got. So opening up this chest, we find only four apples. So, you know, the loot inside these chests, I mean, they're not the greatest, so... Uh, it, you're really not coming here for the loot, you're really coming here more for the fact that there's three freaking villages all at once. So, this seed is just super, super epic, and there's something very special about this seed that I will get into in just a moment, but... So, I knew that, you know, a village like this, there has to be more to it, and oh, there is more to it. So, I went ahead and I did the, um... The X-ray glitch, where you use like the TNT and the minecarts, and you you line yourself up and you look underneath the world, and sure enough, I found a stronghold. Yes, that's right, a stronghold, and I will go ahead and set that up for you guys just so you can see it. But you can access the stronghold via the well in the second village, in the middle village. So I'm just gonna go ahead and set this thing up real quick. Uh, I'll just grab this and a minecart and some TNT. Just like that. And boom, boom, boom. And one, two, like that. And minecart goes down. And you ride in here. Did they... No. They, they didn't. Did they? I think they got rid of the glitch. I think they fixed it. I think they fixed the red... I think they fixed the x-ray glitch. Yep, they fixed the x-ray glitch. Okay, well, that was a complete failure. Either way... If you guys go over to this second, um, if you go over to the second well, and go all the way down. Alright guys, well, after clearing out all the water in the bottom of this well, all you have to do really is dig down a few blocks, and the stronghold will be right underneath you. And yep, there it is. There is the... Uh, the stone brick right from the stronghold. I'll just dig right in here, and boom, we are inside the freaking stronghold. Uh, Clash of Clans, stupid stuff. Okay, so, uh, like I said, accessing the stronghold is very easy. All you have to do is go into the center well, uh, block off the water so you don't drown, 
and then hop right in here. So it's very, very easy to access this stronghold. And I already explored the stronghold, and there really isn't much to it. I mean, it's not it's not a massive stronghold. Uh, it's very easy to find the uh, the the room with the uh, thing in it, uh, the portal. Uh, it should be around one of these corners. But either way, uh, I already explored the entire thing. It's really not that hard to navigate your way around. And the chests that are in here, they really aren't that great. Like, uh, I'm going to try finding one of the chests. But uh, literally, like, the chests that I found in here are pretty lame. Uh, and hang on a second. I think the layout of this changed with 0 0.15. Because the portal room isn't where I remember. Alright, well, we're going to have to explore around here some more. But there's really very few chests. I think in total, I only found like three. Three chests in total. Uh, well, here's one of them. And we passed by it before. And yeah, like I said, the loot in these chests is very, very lame. Like, iron boots, apples, and I think one of the chests has an emerald in it. And other than that... These chests are just, like, super, super lame. And, yeah, I think the layout of this stronghold completely changed with the latest update. Because I can't find the portal room, and it used to be, like, right here. So, maybe... Oh, never mind. This is the part that I didn't explore yet. Yep, right here. Okay, it, it is where I remember it. Okay, so this is the portal room. Um, whoops, don't want to destroy that. But, yeah, portal room, very easy to access. Literally just off of the first level when you walk right down. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have Eyes of Ender or the End yet, so the portal room is basically useless. But, uh, walking around in here a little bit more, you will start to find, uh, more of those chests with all that loot. And like I said, the chests with the loot are really, really, really lame. So you're not coming in this stronghold for the loot. You're coming in here, obviously, for the portal. Uh, and yeah, here's another one of those chests. See? Very lame stuff. Bread and apples. Like, come on, stronghold. Give me some better stuff. But, uh... Yeah, like, to find a stronghold right off the start and three NPC villages, like, what, what more can you ask for? Well, well, glad you asked, guys. Because this seed is only just getting started. And hang on, how do I get out of here? Oh well, I don't remember how I get out of here, so I'm just gonna have to explore my way out of here. But, uh, can I know there's a stairwell? Oh, it was right here. Yep, okay. Well, this is your way out, so I will get back to the surface, and then I will show you guys how awesome this seed really is. Because it gets better. Trust me, it gets so much better. Alright, so once you're back on the surface, there's going to be a little bit more for you guys to explore. So, back when I did the, um, back when I did the x-ray glitch to see what else was underneath this map, I found a dungeon. But not just one dungeon, two dungeons. And they are right next to each other. How convenient is that? Alright guys, so after taking a look at the original video that I made, because yes, I did try recording this back in 0 0.14, then the beta came out, and I'm like, okay, I might as well wait for 0 0.15, but either way, back when I recorded it in 0 0.14, it looks like the landscape had changed quite a bit uh, for 0 0.15 because of all the new terrain features and whatnot, so I have a feeling the dungeons were removed, because if I compare... Uh, these two landscapes, like, back in my original video, there was, like, this little crescent-shaped area over here. And, like, just north, uh, just northwest of it, like, by these little ponds, was a whole bunch of gravel, and now there's no gravel. And then, like, if I were to put a torch, like, seven or eight blocks away from, uh, this crescent area... I could just dig straight down and pop right into those dungeons, and if I dig straight down, I can't find those dungeons. So, I have a feeling the dungeons were removed uh, as part of 0 0.15. So, either way, this seed, while it doesn't have those dungeons, uh, at least to my knowledge, like I honestly don't know if they're here, and, I, and they're just in a different spot, because none of the x-ray glitches are working. So, I have no way of telling if the dungeons were moved. So, I'm just going to say that they're still here, I just can't find them. But, um, I will show you guys a clip from the original video 
uh, and demonstrate that those dungeons are actually here. Uh, I knew that they were around here somewhere, and they are just to the uh, to the right of these little uh, pond areas. So after you guys leave the village, you'll see some like small ponds, and they should be to the right of them and just underneath. So we're going to try digging down and finding them. This x-ray glitch isn't the most uh, efficient one, so let's just hope that I... Up oh, there we go. Yep, right there. And boom, spider dungeon right here. Let's just mark this area. And it is a double dungeon, as I already told you guys. And uh, the second one is a skeleton one, but unfortunately, it gets cut off, so you don't get any of the chests. And uh, yeah, it gets cut off by the spider ones, so that's a little unfortunate. And uh, Either way, um, to my knowledge, it, right now they're not there, but if they are, they probably were moved. But regardless, you have three villages, as well as a stronghold, and this seed just keeps on getting better, because if you go back towards where you spawned, so I'm going to go over to the spawn area, it was like this little clearing area, this long strip of land, uh, if you go straight back, um, and you follow like this, and you follow the shoreline, you will find another, um, you will find another plains biome, and in this plains biome is yet another village, it's right over here, so you like cross by this mountain area, and then you go to the right of it, and you will find another village, so there are four villages in this seed altogether, and for all I know, there may be even more, like I said, I'm not entirely sure, um, because a lot of this stuff got moved around, but um, yeah, we have four villages in one single seed. And over here we got our blacksmith, so we might as well explore that blacksmith. So let's take a look at what's inside here, because so far this, the chests in this seed have proven to be very disappointing. But in here, okay, we got 12 ink sacks, 4 iron ingot, and uh, four, uh, 2 apples. So, I mean, that's not that bad. I mean, the, the iron ingots are definitely useful if you guys want to trek that far to get them. But uh, either way... This has been pretty much the entire seed. Now, I did explore the entire plains biome off-cam back when I originally recorded this, so I have no idea if there's more to this seed now, but either way, um, I'm going to be ending off the video here. So thank you guys so much for watching the seed review. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button right in the face. Let's go for 50 likes for such an epic seed. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button to hop on board the Thunder Train. Stay charged, everyone. And I will see you guys in the next video.